Low-key body shaming, telling a magazine your daughter's gotten fat. Some stars are lucky to have loving parents. Others write memoirs about how they're glad they're dead. Jenna Bush Hager is the granddaughter of George H.W. Bush and Barbara Bush. In 2019, she joined The Today Show, taking over for Kathie Lee Gifford as host of the rebranded Today with Hoda and Jenna. In contrast to the long-standing negative public perception of the Bushes, Hager has used her platform to exhibit a lighter side to the Bush clan. In a 2023 episode of Today with Hoda and Jenna, she gave a deeply personal account of being body shamed by her own grandmother. Barbara admonished Hager for wearing a bikini as a teenager, telling her that she was too chubby to show flesh. Oh, Jenna, looking chubby. As a result, Hager avoided wearing bikinis for years. However, she said that her grandmother later apologized and conceded that she was merely reiterating the toxic comments that her own mother would tell her. It's rather sad that Barbara would make such comments, considering that she was constantly ridiculed over her appearance. Notably, she was the frequent butt of gags insinuating that she resembled the president's mom, rather than his wife. However, Hager said that she learned to overcome body shamers and no longer sets weight loss goals for herself. As any Britney stan knows, the pop princess has been routinely body shamed by the public. It was during Spears' public mental health struggles in the 2000s that her body became the subject of particularly pernicious tattle. But it wasn't just the media targeting Spears for her supposed weight gain. Her own father, Jamie, often mocked her weight. For 13 years, Spears was under the care of Jamie, her conservator. During this time, Spears alleges, Jamie body shamed her. She wrote on Instagram in 2022, I was always being told I was fat and never good enough. The psychological damage from my dad and every single f person who went along with it will always be there. In a since-deleted YouTube video, she also revealed that the body shaming began when she was just a child. Spears' allegations have been corroborated by Jacqueline Butcher, a former friend of the family. In a profile by The New Yorker, Butcher recounted the horrific body shaming that Jamie would allegedly inflict upon his daughter, saying, Jamie said, baby, and I thought he was going to say, we love you, but you need help. But what he said was, you're fat, daddy's gonna get you on a diet and a trainer, and you're gonna get back in shape. When she first shot to fame, Billie Eilish was known for her penchant for oversized clothing. Famously, she went viral in 2021 when she debuted her newly dyed blonde locks and figure-hugging clothing in Vogue. Detractors were quick to accuse the singer of selling out by revealing her body, totally forgetting that Eilish was a child when she launched onto the pop scene in her baggy attire. She told the magazine, "'Suddenly you're a hypocrite if you want to show your skin. Showing your body and showing your skin or not should not take any respect away from you.'" Unfortunately, this backlash was not confined to the public. Although Eilish is super close with her parents, they've sadly contributed to the body shaming and inadvertently made her feel bad for wanting to show some skin. In an interview with V Magazine, she opened up about it, saying, "'From my parents, the positive comments about how I dress have the shaming element. Like, I am so glad that you are dressing like a boy, so that other girls can dress like boys, so that they aren't s The singer highlighted the importance of women and girls rejecting antiquated body shaming and celebrating their bodies without being reduced to the sum of their parts. Girl star Zasha Mamet, who is the daughter of esteemed playwright David Mamet and actor Lindsay Krauss, has been open about her eating disorder. She first went public about her illness in 2014, penning an essay for Glamour in which she detailed how her father helped her get the help she needed to recover. Noticeably absent from the deeply personal essay was any mention of Mamet's mom. In a later Glamour article, she revealed that her mom's inadvertent microaggressions exacerbated her disordered eating. A svelte dancer, Krauss was obsessed with thinness. Mamet wrote, when I was growing up, my mother was always on some sort of diet, and everything I was fed was non-fat or sugar-free. When I was hungry, her first response was, are you sure? I dreaded shopping. My mother would say to me, Zasha, let's look in the husky section. And now, what are you going to eat? I don't have time. When she first shot to fame as Alex Dunphy on Modern Family, Ariel Winter was embroiled in a bitter legal battle with her mom, Chrysula Workman. In 2012, Winter's sister, Chanel, fought for custody over the then 14-year-old amid allegations that their mom was abusing her. Winter alleged that her mother frequently body shamed her and called her fat. Workman denied the allegations. In court documents, she said, I have never put Ariel down or told her that she is overweight. Since birth, I have loved and cared for Ariel. She's just lying. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Winter detailed the contradictory nature of her mom's body shaming antics. On the one hand, Workman allegedly berated Winter for her weight and subsequently restricted her food intake. But on the other, she sexualized her from a young age. Winter told the publication, People thought I was 24 when I was 12. If there was going to be a nude scene when I was that age, my mother would have a thousand percent said yes. 
Workman responded to the claims with yet more body shaming. She told In Touch that she does not approve of her daughter wearing revealing outfits, saying, She does not need to do this. She is beautiful with her clothes on. Rihanna is known for having a strained relationship with her father Ronald. Speaking to The Mirror back in 2007, she revealed that she grew up in a discordant household in which her dad, who struggled with substance misuse, would routinely argue with her mom. Unfortunately, her father has also been known to body shame his daughter. In 2012, Ronald chatted to Heat magazine about his daughter, but rather than praise Rihanna's achievements, he decided to mock her weight. He told the magazine, I actually thought she was a little fat the last time I saw her, but when I saw her at this year's Grammys, I thought she was back to her normal size. I used to joke with her, Robin, you're getting too fat. In an interview with Vogue, Rihanna addressed pervasive body shaming, revealing that she tries to ignore the haters and instead embrace her body whatever size she is. She said, I accept all of the bodies. I'm not built like a Victoria's Secret girl, and I still feel very beautiful and confident in my lingerie. Jennifer Aniston is widely regarded as America's sweetheart, but for all the love she receives from the adoring public, she was largely unloved by her own mother, the late actor Nancy Dow. Reflecting on her relationship with Dow, Aniston revealed that she couldn't live up to her mother's notions of physical perfection. She told The Hollywood Reporter, she was very critical of me because she was a model. She was gorgeous, stunning. I wasn't. I never was. She was also very unforgiving. In a 2018 interview with the Sunday Telegraph, Aniston explained that she could identify with the title character of her film Dumplin', a teenager who was body shamed by her own mother, a former beauty queen. Aniston said of her mom, she was all about presentation and what she looked like and what I looked like. I did not come out the model child she'd hoped for, and it was something that really resonated with me. This little girl just wanting to be loved by a mom who was too occupied with things that didn't quite matter. My mom and I always had sort of a push and pull kind of a relationship. The actor added that she had learned to reject unrealistic beauty standards, embracing her authentic self. Speaking to Allure in 2022, Aniston said that she had ultimately forgiven her mother for all the cruel things she said to her. She suggested that it was Dow's acrimonious separation from her husband that fueled her toxic behavior. Hailed as one of the leading plus-size supermodels, Ashley Graham has been breaking barriers in the notoriously myopic fashion world. In 2017, she became the first plus-sized woman to feature on the cover of Sports Illustrated, as well as the first to walk a Michael Kors runway show. Therefore, Graham has no time for body negativity, particularly as she had to endure toxic admonishments from her own family. Speaking to the Las Vegas Review Journal, she opened up about being body shamed by her own father, saying, the really hard moment was when my dad said, Honey, if an agent is telling you to lose weight, then maybe you should lose weight. I was 15, standing in our living room, having a moment I will never forget. I never had a parent tell me to lose weight, and it hurt. While she conceded that her father simply wanted her to succeed, the hurtful comments had a lasting impact. Thankfully, her mom countered this criticism, telling Graham that she is a strong woman destined for great things. And she was right. Graham has gone on to have a phenomenal career. During an appearance on Good Morning America, the model warned parents against commenting on their children's bodies. Parents need to know that they are shaping the future of their children. Mm. Words have power. In 2022, former Nickelodeon child star Jeanette McCurdy released her harrowing memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. In it, she describes the horrific abuse she endured at the hands of her late mother, Deborah. During an appearance on Red Table Talk, she opened up about the pervasive body shaming her mom inflicted upon her, detailing the contents of a letter that Deborah wrote after seeing a photo of her daughter on TMZ. The letter read, You look pudgier too. It's clear you're eating your guilt. Love, mom. Or should I say Deb, since I am no longer your mother. Due to her mom's body shaming, McCurdy developed an eating disorder. In an interview with USA Today, the former actor said that, rather than getting the help she needed for the serious illness, Deborah encouraged her anorexia. She told a reporter, I definitely would not have been able to confront or face my experience of eating disorders had my mother not passed away, because my eating disorders were so endorsed and supported and encouraged by her. When Jeanette was just 11, Deborah put her daughter on a diet, teaching her all about calorie restriction so that she could maintain her adolescent body for the supposed benefit of her career. Following her mother's death in 2013, McCurdy said she felt free for the first time in her life. No longer plagued by Deborah's toxic influence, she sought therapy for her eating disorder and is now in recovery. Of all the Kardashian sisters, Khloe Kardashian has arguably faced the most body shaming. In an episode of Revenge Body, she divulged that her own family pressured her into losing weight. She recalled family members telling her, Chloe, you gotta lose weight because you're really hurting the brand. Indeed, she has been shamed by her family on numerous episodes of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. You need to work out. 
Courtney once shamed Chloe for eating snacks, remarking that she had gained a few pounds. On another occasion, Chloe's brother Rob body shamed her on the reality series. I'm just telling you people think that you're big. She hit back at her brother, telling him that she doesn't feel the need to go on restrictive diets. Fans praised her response on social media, noting that Chloe has inexplicably been branded fat for years. In an interview with Health, Chloe vowed that she would never instill these body negative notions into her own daughter True, instead teaching her body positivity from a young age. She told the publication, when it comes to food, I had so many issues. It wasn't from one person. I guess just from society or how people critiqued my body. So I don't play when it comes to true. If you need help with an eating disorder or know someone who is, help is available. Visit the National Eating Disorders Association website or contact Nita's Life Helpline at 1-800-931-2237. You can also receive 24-7 crisis support via text. Send Nita to 741-741.